Good morning once again to another series on why good healthy food is important, very important in the life of every believer. This week is going to be about starches, carbs in the life of a Christian. Each talk will be about seven minutes on subjects like potatoes, bread and mealies. It's all solid stuff. But I want to share with you before we start that it's going to be difficult. It was diff very difficult for me preparing this. And I can tell you up front that much you will doubt, find incredible and question. That's not a bad thing. But I challenge you not to be a doubting Thomas, saying this is a bridge too far, Barry Lewis. You're a fanatic. Until we've reached the end. This could be a life changer for you. The journey has been for me. It's meant a t 10 kilogram loss of weight. You see, when we invite Christ into our lives, everything has changed. How we spend our money, our attitudes to sex, even the clothes we wear, and the food we eat. We're under new management. Knowing what you're probably thinking, I've often asked myself, whether I could be self-deceived in being so radical in these beliefs about starches. And am I completely oblivious of that fact? And merely disturbing you and getting you anxious for no reason. Yet I'm encouraged by the word of St. Paul to Timothy. Preach the word, convince, rebuke and exhort. So this week, I exhort you to look at the starches you eat in a new way and with different eyes. How do they contribute to caring for the temple where Almighty God dwells? If you find yourself just dismissing what I have to say about starches, I challenge you first to ask yourself, what if I'm the one who is wrong? You see, the greatest health challenge today is type 2 diabetes. <clears throat> Scientists tell us that it affects nearly 50% of the people who are enjoying what is called the typical industrial diet. You are likely to be on it. Most folk are. People with diabetes account for one-fourth of every dollar spent in the United States on health care. And I'm afraid Christians will not be exempt if they too break the rules. Abnormal blood glucose is one of the chief underlying causes of health disease, heart disease, stroke, cancer, and a host of other conditions. It's all about the starches we are eating and how they are processed and prepared, and even whether we chew them properly or not. So what are these rules? First, let's go back one step. As a Christian, you'll be completely familiar with St. Paul's teaching that there are two kingdoms here on earth. He calls one of them the dominion of darkness and the other the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ. You'll find the teaching in Colossians chapter 2. These two kingdoms are as different as night and day. The kingdom of Jesus is here, is here to give us abundant, eternal life. But the dominion of darkness is about into deceiving us into accepting second best, foreshortening our lives, and generally making us miserable. And secondly, having stepped out of the darkness into the kingdom of God's glorious light, our bodies have become little temples of the Holy Spirit, each unique as a fingerprint. Every one the place where God dwells. 1 Corinthians 3 is where you'll find this. We belong to him now. And it behooves us to take good care of the place where Almighty God dwells. <clears throat> With all of this in mind, may I invite you to echo the prayer of our dear Suf and Echoch. Lord, may that which is from you stick in our minds and hearts. 
though it may irritate like a stone in a shoot. But that which is of Barry Lewis may be forget and ignore. So the subject of coloured foods was not that difficult. We all like strawberries and radishes, and adding butternut and spinach to our diets was not hard. But tighten your safety belts. Nowhere in the field of food have we been more deceived by the Lord of the Dominion of Darkness than the subject of starches. <clears throat> Much of the deception started with a medical researcher called Radley Keyes, who about 50 years ago crooked the books in order to convince us that fat was the cause of heart disease, we should cut out all red meat and eggs and be eating much more starch. His work has been discredited, but much of it remains firmly stuck in our minds. <clears throat> Starches can be broadly divided into those that are rapidly digested and those that are resistant, like chalk and cheese. One will likely turn you into a diabetic if you eat too much of it, but the other is very healthy and highly recommended, with a whole continuum in between. <clears throat> Tomorrow we'll start with potatoes. Do they belong in the dominion of darkness or the kingdom of Jesus? Tighten your seatbelt. It's going to be a rough ride. <clears throat> These in talks, incidentally, can be found at my nom de plume website, bernard-preston.com, with all the science backing up what I have to say. Until tomorrow then, all about potatoes. Goodbye and God bless.